So um, <clears throat> now I'm trying to do two primary nodes. Um, I have a 555 timer set up, you know, standard configuration here. This is my second one uh, with a potentometer in order to try and control the uh, frequency um, of the um, of the uh, alternating current. Here's my first 555 and uh, I had a little trouble getting this one to read. Um, might have something to do with the pot, might have something to do with a different chip. It's actually a different manufacturer but the data sheet is you know, more or less, the specs are more or less the same so it should be fine. But anyway I went back and measured, um, made sure my first um, circuit is okay of which it is. Yeah so this is actually a cleaner square wave than I, I had bef uh, before, uh, which is nice. Um, but another thing I noticed is that um, the input voltage really does matter. Um, the duty cycle stays about the same. Um, you know, if I draw it now, I'm dropping wave. I mean, I should be above 5 volts for an, a normal operation of a 555, and now I'm oh, around 3. So, But if I bump it back up above 5, um, here's here's eight and eight and change volts input, and let's see, I have uh fifty millivolts. So that's one, two, three, four, let's say five and change. Um, so that's that's two hundred and. Uh, five, uh, yeah, 250 millivolts, so a quarter of a volt. Um, but I can, I don't. It'd be interesting what the relationship is um, between input and output voltage. But you know, here I'm dropping the voltage. Um, this is you know five volts, and it, it drops down a bit. I mean, I'm not that interested in exactly what it is, but it is. It will be important. It does also kind of crunch as I bump the input voltage. Now I'm up around 10. Um, it does, let me drop this, it does change the duty cycle a little bit. So this is um, node number two, uh, which again is just a basic 555 timer setup and um, I'm producing a square wave and um, it looks pretty much exactly, it's the same oscilloscope settings um, and Therefore, nicely, it looks pretty much exactly like the first node, uh, which I had just rechecked. Um, and again, I'm, I'm achieving this nice clean square wave um, with uh, a, looks like a pre pretty well over a 60, um, two thirds duty cycle on the high and the remainder on the low. Um, and right now uh, with about eight volts input. I'm I'm receiving. I'm let's see here. Uh, I'm at point point one volts. So one, two, three, a little less than three. So again, like like before, it's it's you know two fifty plus millivolts, a um, little over a quarter of a volt output. And uh, let's see, my time interval is. I'm too far away. Time division is two milliseconds per division. So I'll figure out the frequency, but I'm going to suspect it's around 166 hertz. Um, and then the next step is to add a potentometer. Let's see if I can swing this around here. Um, so here's, n here's node number one that I had just rechecked. Here's node number two. Um, that we just saw on the oscilloscope and uh, what I'd like to do is add a potentometer um, on this side um, of this resistor series in order to um, uh, adjust the frequency and see if I can get some so when I get my EMF detector which is the Arduino RMF detector which is right there standing by uh, one of tests so I have antenna 1 here, which is now feeding into the oscilloscope, and then antenna 2 here. I want to see if I can measure um, the, 
the difference in electromagnetic field, like see if there's a topography in here that I can discern with the electromagnetic field detector. Um, and that's really, really the bedrock, the foundation of this whole uh, exercise um, to build from. So we'll see what happens. So what I've done now is I'm running both primary node 1 and primary node 2 at the same time. I have uh, my BCN cables going to one and then my second set of BCN cables going to the second node. And then uh, now I have the two channels here. I'm on channel one and then here's channel two. Channel one, channel two. Um, here's them alternating. In general I'm pleased that you know that both their duty cycles look the same. They look like they have the same frequency. So we'll see what happens in the electromagnetic field.